talking to All for One today on Cabo Bay in L.A. They're having a concert on Saturday in Redondo Beach. We have the details for you, and we'll let you in on that later on in the program. For now, we are still feeling very generous. Namimigay pa rin po kami ng ticket para sa Orange County Fair. Orange County Fair is starting on July 13th. It's an annual affair festivities in Orange County. And here on Cabo Bay in L.A., binibigyan po namin kayo ng pagkakataon na makabisita ng libre. We're looking for lucky families to win four tickets each to the Orange County Fair. We picked one winner last week. Tomorrow, we're going to pick another winner. All you need to do is email us while, why you think your family deserves to win the free tickets. Email us, kababayan, at la18.tv. Jamie and Delius, again, of, Kabo, of All for One. Hello once again, and welcome Thank to the you. show. Thank like you. I said earlier, you know, you weren't like, some people will be friends, and then they form a group, and mm -hmm. then, you know, but you were from all different places. Mm -hmm. You got together for the main purpose of Getting a record deal. Getting a record deal. How did you keep it going? Um, I'm sort of blessed that we all have like similar personalities, you know, yeah. and I think that's what's kept us together. I mean, we've we've never really fought over anything major in the last. Our 20th anniversary is next year. Congratulations! Uh, yeah, <laughs> we never really thought over anything crazy that wasn't like you know settled. Well, and, and the thing is, you know, we we we're all adults mm -hmm. and we can all agree to disagree. So we're not going to agree on everything, but we it, it's never it's never gotten to that point where we disrespected each other and mm -hmm. and you know and and took it to the next level. Mm -hmm. And I think it's just because a we we all care for each other and we are family. Mm -hmm. You know, my kids know him as Uncle D. You know, and and, and 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 that's you know we're we're we've been brothers you know since we started and I, and I think a lot of that as Dila said you know we all have had you know common goals we all have very similar beliefs and in, in what we believe what are the disagreements about what song to sing maybe who to sing what yeah yeah, yeah that's, 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 <laughs> pretty, that's pretty that's pretty good right? <laughs> that's true. Rude. what songs to sing uh -huh. what we're gonna wear on what concert yeah. that's a big one yeah. right. I don't wanna wear that <laughs> you know, right like or that. sometimes if you're part of a group um, and you don't feel like singing the pressure is on for you to perform and deliver because you don't want to disappoint the the rest of the group right, right? Right, right are there ever times when one of you is sick and you've had to go on stage yeah. nonetheless yes. yeah yes. yeah definitely uh, I don't know if it's not times. not wanting to sing but right. just feeling that you're going to disappoint the fans because you're not at you know your best, your best. So it's like oh yeah. but you know you have to get out there yeah, yeah. what's yeah. the most difficult thing about being a member of all for one the most difficult thing about being a member of all for one is huh I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I think maybe I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I think, yeah. Yeah, that's difficult. We, we've never been asked that question ever. That's a good question. Yeah. <laughs> See, yeah. now you'll remember me for asking that yes. weird question. <laughs> yeah. Um. Hmm. I don't know. It's not the traveling. It's not the. But I, I, yeah. Perhaps it's looking. because you enjoy what you're yeah. doing, and that's why it's not difficult. We do. It doesn't feel we like do. work. Not, not at all. Even when your hours are packed. The only time it feels like work is like if you're really tired you know like or jet lagged or sick mm -hmm. you know and you still got to get up there that's the only time it may feel a little like work but then but then the other side of the point is even when you're sick and you see all these people who have so graciously you know come Supported, to see you and yeah. support you and you you draw energy off of that and and that makes you feel better but you know I think for me the hardest part is I, I always want to try to give my best okay. you know I always want to try to you know do the best that I can for them because you know they they could have been doing anything but yet they came to see us and I always want to make sure that they leave happy and why not Grammy winning group. You won a Grammy for uh, I swear. Is there and you've had that uh, on the Billboard charts for what? 11 weeks number yeah, one or something weeks, like yeah, that. Yes. yes. So when you come up with a song like that, is there pressure to keep pushing and coming up with songs that will just outdo the first? I think the pressure at the beginning was like you know with I swear because it was unbelievable to me that I swear was doing as well as it was. It was the most popular song on our first record mm -hmm. and the last song added, so we were surprised that it was doing as well as it was. But I think as we were traveling and we got our next song for the next record, which was a song called I Can Love You I Like can love That, you like that yes. we were like, ah, oh, this is not going to be a sophomore, you know, slump. <laughs> right, this right, has right. got to be a hit. You right, know, we recorded right. it and you know it went to the top as well, so. How is it like being on top and being on top ruling for dominating for many weeks, many months, many years, and then after a while, you know, reaching some kind of a, 
would we say a slump when mm -hmm. you stopped recording for a while or mm -hmm. you stopped, re you know, what, how was it like? You know, the, the thing is, we never looked at it as, oh, we're dominating or anything like that. The only thing we loved about it is we loved the fact that, you know, when the records were big, we were always, always, always on the road touring and, and, and being with our fans and, and things of that nature. And then at some point, it was around 98, and that was when I got married. Um, and, and, you know, I, we all wanted to take a, a break because Change literally, priorities, yeah. well, it wasn't even that. It was just literally from 93 till 98, it was nonstop. We were gone from home a minimum of 300 days of every year wow. from 93 to 98, okay. you know, or late 93 is when it started really beginning of 94. And it's like when you're traveling that much, and I mean, we went through four or five passports and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and a lot of times I, I would talk to my mom on the phone and she would ask me where I was. And I say, hang on, mom, let me find a phone book. Because no you didn't know where you were. No clue yeah. where we are. We just get on the tour bus and wake up somewhere. Right. You know, and so it was just like, going 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 and you're totally exhausted and and so at some point you know it was there was a point where everybody wanted to just you know live life a little and be able to um you know enjoy you know other things as well as our singing right. and not give up on that you know. so in short it was a welcome break it was. but you mentioned the touring and i know that you've been to the philippines many times we're going to be talking about that your affinity with the filipino people and they we love you over there i think it's because of the food and the songs we're going to be talking about that when we return on the show don't go away mm -hmm.